Hi Aries and welcome to your June 20th to the 26th weekly reading. This is for those that are born March 22nd to April 21st and my little cards are at the other place I read at so we get this nice book but it, it works the same. This is Aries. You're still a fire sign. You're still the ram, right? You're still Aries. So I'm going to put this out of the way for right now. And we're going to get on with your reading. Welcome to my channel. This is Force for the Trees. I really appreciate you being here. So, let's see what we have going on for you. Get my pen out of the way. I'm just not organized today. What's going on with me? Hope you all are doing well. I really appreciate each and every one of you being here. And uh, let's see what this fire energy we've got for the week of June 20 to 26 series. We do have uh, the start of summer solstice, June 20th. Um, it's at night, so I, I always call it the 21st because that's kind of the first full day of summer. Oof, we got desire. Wonderful. What are you desiring, Aries? What are you desiring? What are you going to, you know, the genie in the bottle, what are you going to bring to light? Right? Whoa. You can't have all of these. Way too many. All right. I love these cards, but they're slick. I don't love that part. All right, this is for Aries, June 20. There's one, woof. That's only one card. The tower. Nope. All right, June. And we have the eight of wands. So you, you have you have movement coming in. You have energy. You have high energy coming in. So you're you're manifesting change. The tower is all about change. The tower is all about um, breaking down of a system, breaking down of the old, letting go of the what no longer serves you. Um, the tower is about. It can be about total destruction. It could be about. It's kind of like you know when somebody buys a, a lot with a house on it and, and doesn't want the house and they bulldoze it all down. It could be a perfectly good house, but they take it all down to build what they want. And that's kind of the energy I'm feeling for you this week, Aries. It's like you're in charge. It's like you're large and in charge. And what do you want to do? Where do you want to go? What do you, what do you want? Manifest it, manifest it, manifest it is what I keep hearing. Right. Um, out with the old, in with the new, take down, you know, what doesn't work for you anymore, remove it, get out of it, change it, whatever, you know, do it legally, please. You know, this is a general reading, it won't resonate with every single one of you. But this is, you know, this card is central to the issue, so this is your desire, this is what you're wanting to do, you're wanting change. We'll read out of the book on it here in a minute. But you also have this high energy. The Eight of Wands is a fast-moving energy. This is an energy of, you know, moving forward and moving quickly. And you have the airy sign here, too. It's a fire energy. It's fast. It sparks. So you could have a lot of ideas coming in. You could have a lot. If you put in resumes, you could have a lot of resumes coming in. Or, you know, if, if you're on a dating site, if, if you're you're tired of being single and you really want to shake things up, you know, you're going to go on a dating site or whatever. And, you know, you might be getting a lot of um, action on the dating site or something like that. Um, but it's it's something, it's, it's, to me, the tower is a life event change. So it's not going to be just, um, oh, I was dating so-and-so, now I'm dating this person. You know, it's not that not that that can't be a life-altering change, but this is this is major. This is like packing all your bags and moving to Canada. This is like pack, or say you live in Texas, packing all your bags and moving to Canada, you know, or moving to England, or it's major, it's big. So it's a decision or a desire. You might not make the decision yet, but you're putting things in motion with the eight of wands. You're putting things in motion. You're putting... You're putting it out there, not only to the universe, but you're putting out that energy of what you're wanting to start manifesting, to start getting what you desire. 
right? You're putting out that energy. You figured up that things need to change, right? And you're going to start changing them. Aries is not one to be idle. If Aries wants something, Aries gets something. You know, if Aries wants change, Aries goes after change. Aries knows how to do it, right? They don't sit around and wait for somebody else to make the change for them. They'll do it. Everybody not, might not agree with it, but it's Aries life, right? All right, I'm going to read out of the book on desire. And this, um, this flower is, um, I don't know how to say it. I'm not going to even attempt it. So that is what it is. It's a pretty yellow flower. Um, the oracle meaning is the pursuit of what you long for and the achievement of its obtained or indicated. Something you long for could be in the spotlight and having a greater ripple effect through your life. more so than usual. Is this a good thing? Perhaps, but be careful your desires do not cloud your focus or true purpose. Ambitions, passions, and goals are all in a state of progression as are calculated risks. A very important concern will come into your life shortly that needs your full commitment and attention. Relationships become more physical and passionate. Woo-woo, right? So, again, you know, I guess what this card is trying to say is be careful of what, okay, say so you're dreaming or you're manifesting something, right? You're manifesting something coming into light. You're manifesting what you want. You're manifesting your, um, again, whatever it is you're wanting and it's coming. You, you have this fire energy. You have this, you know... And then something comes along that is going to turn you away from your focus. So that's what this is telling you. Be careful that it doesn't cloud your judgment about where you're going and what you're wanting to do. You know, you could, uh, for example, you could wake up one morning and have a laser focus of today's the day I'm moving. And, and you're getting everything packed and you're getting ready to go or, or today's the day, you know, whatever, whatever. I'm going back to college or whatever. You're getting online ready to apply and there's a knock on the door and it's your friends and they're going, hey, let's go to the lake. And you're like, okay. <laughs> so that's kind of like taking the focus away from what you truly are trying to want to do. And you might desire to go to the lake, but you need to focus on what, what this, you know, this shift of energy is, what this change is that's coming up because it's major life event change, right? It's a major life event change. Like it could be, you know, if you don't have a house, it could be buying a house for the first time or, you know, again, getting married or having a baby or some big change, but it's something you're going after. You want this. You know, that's, a, that's the infinity sign, right? You want this. Let me see. This is a new deck to me, so I'll read See, I'll just check this little blurb out just to make sure I'm not seeing anything, you know, I'm not reading anything wrong in the way they interpret their meanings. Um, um, well, this says for the towers, breaking up of solid structures, getting free from confinement, sudden breakthroughs after long preparations. Um, sparking sexual encounter, success lies in simplicity and modesty, um, return to a solid and ground of reality. So it was upright, so I won't read the, so pretty much, you know, everything I said, and, and I'm assuming that uh, Eight of Wands is, um, yeah. It's, you know, forward movement. It is, it is energy. It is being thrust forward. It's what you're after, what you're going for. So you're going to have an abundance of energy this week, right? You're going to, um, you're going to have a focus on what you want, a really strong focus. Just don't be dissuaded on 
um, you know, you have desires, you have wishes that you want fulfilled. So don't get your head turned by, um, oh, again, you know, friends come and say, hey, let's go to the lake. It's all well and good to go to the lake, but make sure you have your prep work done for what you were trying to do to begin with, right? All right. Good reading there, Aries. Good reading there. I'd love to hear how this resonates with you. I don't know why that won't stand up, but we'll leave it. It only bothers me, I'm sure. Um, I'd love to hear how this resonates with you. Again, you have that fire energy. You have that moving forward. I look at it like a, a horse with a bit in his teeth, you know, just going. You just, you're going. You're going you're gonna to get things done this week. You're going to get things done. All right? Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. Um, again, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed and would like to, please do so and hit the hit the button. And I do um, I do videos a lot. <laughs> uh, I obviously do weeklies. I do singles readings. I do coupled readings. I do um, monthlies. So I do a bunch. So again, check out my channel. I really appreciate all, you all being here. Any thing you need is in the description below the decks I use how to per book a personal private reading with me if you'd like my website's there my emails there just make yourself at home I really thank you for watching so very much and Aries have a wonderful week let me know what what it is what's this big change you got going on what do you got going on this week what have you decided I love the eye to me it's like a knowing I know what I'm doing this is what I'm doing all right. I'm moving into shaking. All right. Good luck to you. And thank you so much again for watching. Bye for now.